Good afternoon, everybody. I've got a new phone, so <clears throat> I don't know how this is going to work, if it's going to look better. It's a 4G. <laughs> and uh, no, they don't do 4G. I said, I want a 4G. They, no, no, it's all fine. I want a 4G. Okay, I'll get you 4G. Thanks. <laughs> So here it is, it's a 4G. Don't ask me, well, I'll show you what it is. It's probably from China like all the rest of them, but there you go, who knows. This is it, cost me 300 bucks, 300 euros, something like that. Uh, no idea, but I wanted it for a camera, wanted the best camera. So hopefully this is a, going to be a good camera for, uh, like, I swear to God, every time I make a video, this guy must see me making a video because he starts his machine to make concrete. He must watch. Yeah, he's looking at me, he's smiling. <laughs> <coughs> you can still hear it, right? Still on my chest a bit. So you're gonna ask, what have I, what have I been doing? Well, blah, blah, blah. no you haven't. Um, but I'm telling you anyway, what have I been doing to heal myself? Well, I'll just give you an idea. Um, this is a tea, okay? So mugwort is in here, um, filed ground garlic, um, cayenne pepper, um, and mint today. So that's, well, now I'm drinking it all the time. So, uh, but then it will change depending on how I'm feeling. Um, what am I eating for my dinner today? I'm gonna show you my dinner today. <laughs> That's my dinner today. There you go. Ground walnuts on top, brain food. <laughs> um, organic, everything's organic. Rocket, because it's not rocket science. Um, asparagus, yeah. Looks a little bit like a, a, dil, di, a dingling, right? And it's good for your dingling, <laughs> for you men, if you didn't know that. Um, cherry tomatoes, again, all organic. Uh, I've done some uh, mango touts. Mango touts, when I first met a girl, we went to Marks and Spencer's, she says, oh, what are mango touts? <laughs> I says, I like her. I says, that's mange too, love. <laughs> so, some little beautiful peas, again, all raw. Uh, what else? Okay, uh, a couple of avocados here, uh, some lovely uh, white onion, um, a full white onion, three cloves of garlic, um, and then, oh, the, the tomatoes, the, um, the asparagus, <clears throat> the leaves, all went into um, a tub of water uh, with um, some apple cider vinegar for about five minutes to just even though they're organic I just want it nice and clean um, then oh yeah this the, I got some dandelion leaves I found some dandelion leaves so they're in here too um, what else three loaves of garlic cayenne pepper oregano sp loads of oregano um, cold press uh, no, first cold press. No, you're not going to get it. Yes, I did. No, you're not going to get it. Yes, I am. No, you're not going to get any cold. Not first press. You're not going to get it. Says it was. No, they never they never sell cold first press. <laughs> they keep it for the family and themselves. But I got some. I'm very lucky to get some off a, a Spanish family. So, first, first cold pressed um, virgin olive oil. Um, and then some uh, organic balsamic vinegar. So, there you go. Do you want me to show you what it tastes like? Okay. Ready? Becking egg. You can taste it. It's like an explosion. It is so bloody good. I also put some salt, um, some Himalayan salt into. Oh my God, that is so nice. I can't wait to eat it. 
Wow, that is so good. And when I finished eating that, I'm gonna feel amazing. That is what's called medicine. Let food be thy medicine. Okay, those who are interested in the next crystal that I'm talking about is probably already gone because you thought, hang on a minute, the title says um, Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> so I do travel around and one of a few crystals that I always try and buy whenever I, I find it is called Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty is a turquoise and it's only found in one mine, I believe, and that mine is now closed down. And of course, anybody who um, travels the world or goes to spiritual places, Arizona has a very unique energy there. And of course, because it's got a unique energy, I think it's got a lot to do with the crystal formation and, and what's going on there. The portals, all these amazing energies that are around there. I've heard some amazing stories. Anyway, Sleeping Beauty Mine closed down a long time ago, but every now and again, people will have bought plenty of uh, Sleeping Beauty in five years, 10 years ago, I don't know how long ago, but every time I see it, I buy it. So I don't often have it. I might have, what, 20 or 30 pieces on my website, not very many, but I did come across a few pieces, which are uh, about 20, 20 pieces. So I'm about to put them on the website after I work with them this morning, just a little bit. Um, and I feel okay now, so I've been working on a few crystals, so I feel pretty good, actually. It's just a little chest, but my energy feels great. So, yeah, I'll, do you want to see them? There you go. I've actually got a bracelet as well. Found a bracelet, which is really, really beautiful. They're really, really gorgeous. So what's special about Sleeping Beauty compared to other turquoise? Well, if you wanna uh, navigate yourself after this video to uh, markbayerski.com and scroll down, and as you scroll down, you'll see three, I think, three books, and they call audio books, or two, two audio books. Uh, you'll see the audio book, Seeing the Invisible, Click on that chapter and it talks about Sleeping Beauty. So I think that's the best bet. Just listen to listen to the audio and listen to that chapter. It might give you, it won't give you like, okay, this makes sense to all what Mark's talking about now, but it's just a story that I found fascinating. It's a story of a crystal that seemed to kind of break and, and you're going well I don't want to buy it if it's going to break no but it, it did it was fascinating that it did do that and it did it to help people in a certain uh, I don't know exactly how it works but as a healer when I work with clients I always found that when I gave a client a sleepy beauty afterwards after the healing session they would tell me that they were going through tremendous physical issue in their body so it could have been a dis-ease so why did I always go for Sleeping Beauty? I, I, don't, I don't really have the answer to exactly why, but when I'm working with it, as I did this afternoon, earlier on, certain things keep vibrating, or keep coming up in the vibration that feels like the clearance of fear. And that's a big thing because you cannot heal if you don't clear the fear from your body. That is, uh, that is, 100% I know that as fact. Those who clear the fear from the body, their body starts to repair again. That is the truth. That is the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So what do I feel Sleeping Beauty contributes towards you on a, on a positive level? When working with Sleeping Beauty and I placed that crystal on certain clients and where it was going on there, it always tended to be at the place where their core, root core issues are. So, what do I think about it? I think that the crystal itself targets root cause issue, root cause of, let's say, trauma, root cause of deep physical, uh, um, um, no, the, if you can clear the root cause of trauma, blocks, um, issues, dark energies, dirty energies that are trapped in the body, you will clear 
or you will you will definitely stop the progress of the physical issue that could manifest right so if you're clear in your body the manifestation of, of dis-ease is going to be 10 times more difficult to to stick in your body because trauma can equal disease it really can so it helps I want to be careful here because I don't want you to think oh my god what if there's something wrong with me well wouldn't you rather know if there's something starting to cause an issue in your future straight away so you can heal it so I guess this crystal is only for people who, who want to face up to their truth I want to face up to my truth tell me what's wrong with me so give me a crystal and let it let it show me so what does it do it can manifest um, pain it can manifest pain I can honestly say that because I put it on clients uh, done done many circles and they've said oh as soon as I put it on I could feel this pain at a certain part of my body Wow, so it's manifesting what that, that issue is. So it's bringing it out so you know what the issue is and then you can clear it. I'd rather clear something than, than it be too late. So I, whenever somebody asks me about cancer, okay, I hate to say what crystal um, is good for cancer, but I always seem to say I love Sleeping Beauty. That That is if, if I had any issues I'd go for Sleeping Beauty with the big C if I have any friends who have it I send Sleeping Beauty it's not like turquoise from let's say a different part of the world so if you're getting to bed and to, it's not it, it doesn't do the same there's something very unique about Sleeping Beauty so be aware when you're looking for it people might say it's Sleeping Beauty but it isn't in fact Alex mentioned this to me when I was over there I said is there a lot of people selling turquoise as Sleeping Beauty and he said yes so be very careful and I thought I thought so so just be aware of that um, anxiety clears anxiety, clears anger, clears um, frustration, uh, fear, uh, stress, um, and brings a, a, a really beautiful um, peace and, and healing into your body when wearing it. So that's why I love Sleeping Beauty. That is my experience through my clients. And that's it really. I just, I just thought... Now that I've come back from my travels, um, my boxes have arrived now. So I've got three huge boxes in there ready to go through all the crystals. I've got some crystals over there I'm working on. And it's nice because in these next three or four months, hopefully every day, I'll try and make a video with a new crystal that I might have 10 or 15 or 20 of to show you just like this. And... Um, yeah, I think it's quite nice. I really enjoy doing the um, the crystal videos. I absolutely love it. I, I also enjoy sharing the experience of so many people who have benefited from a healing session in crystals. So that's my talk today. I hope you appreciate it. I'll put one link below and that is for my very small collection of Sleeping Beauty. I hope you appreciate it and I hope it makes a difference in your life. And last of all, please support your local crystal store and go down there and ask them for a piece of Sleeping Beauty if you know anybody who's going through some physical issues. And maybe, just maybe, what I share with you today really does resonate and heal somebody today. Have a great day. From my heart to yours, take care.